97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, welcome to City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Akanya Ofuri. Get ready for today's top stories. In our first top story today, the flag bearer of the opposition New Patriotic Party, Nana Ekufuado, presented what he called the true state of the nation address, where he indicated that a combination of reckless borrowing and amateurish economic planning by the Mahama administration has put Ghana's economy in a state of crisis and despair. According to him, the current administration has run aground the economic fundamentals of the country with a debt stock of 73%, which is in excess of the accepted levels of debt sustainability. Delivering the address, Nanadu revealed that the present Mahama administration has borrowed five times more than what former President Nkrumah and Kufour borrowed altogether. Away from politics, today traders in Accra's central business district closed down their shops in protest against increased taxes. The traders comprise importers and exporters, automobile dealers, among others. The closure is expected to last for three days. Here at City TV, our correspondent Jessica Ayer visited the Central Business District and monitored activities there, and she's joined me on set to tell me what she found out. I was at the Opera Square this morning, and as at around 11, the usual hustle and bustle at the place was absent. So one shop was open, and then upon inquiry, she told me it was just because she was meeting a client, and then the shop would be closed soon. I met some of the traders there also, though their shops were closed. They told me that they only came there because the three-day strike was because they wanted government to actually fill their grievances and then do something about the tax situation in this country. And then also, I caught up with the, an executive member of Guta, Mr. Yeboa, who also told me he hopes by the time the strike is over, government would actually heed to their grievances. And I assume that this must be bad news for the many people who go there every day to buy. There are not many people in town. I guess they realized or they heard about the strike, the upcoming strike. So a few people I saw were just buying from the street hawkers. There was not much activity going on there. Thank you very much, Jessica Aye, for giving us update on the strike by the traders in Accra Central Business District. Meanwhile, in Tema, freight forwarders at the Tema main hub refused to pay import duties. In line with a directive from the Joint Private Sector Business Consultative Forum, made up of Guta, the Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Food and Beverage Importers Association of Ghana, among others, it requested its members, including freight forwarders, not to pay any form of duty until government addresses their concerns. Moving on to some other stories, the National Road Safety Commission has constituted a team of professionals to investigate the fatal Metro Mass Bus accidents that claimed more than 60 lives at Kintampo in the Bunuahafu region more than a week ago. The National Road Safety Commission says this measure is in accordance with their standard practice to set up such an investigative team any time there is a road accident that results in five or more deaths. The team is multidisciplinary, made up of engineers, the police, lawyers, doctors, and civil society representatives. Head of communications at the commission, Kwame Etuahine, believes the findings of the team will support efforts aimed at preventing such accidents in the future. In our final story, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is expected in the country this evening for a two-day official visit. He will be accompanied by his wife and over 150 businessmen and government officials. President Edwan and President John Dumani Mahama will hold a joint press conference and also address a business forum after they hold talks at the Flagstaff House. President Edwan will also join President Mahama to cut sword for the official commencement of work on a new terminal at the Kotoka International Airport. The Turkish leader will also hold discussions with the Speaker of Parliament and address the House before visiting the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park with his wife. And that's it for City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Lakanyo Furi. Thanks for watching.